psycho sees Santa's workshop. Eat this. And only Lee Majors can stop them. The night the reindeer oh. die. And Lee, you're being a real good boy this year. Yes, you sure have. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. First off, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas with your family, your friends, and um, had lots of food, lots of drink. And uh, I did. <laughs> I had a great time. Um, but anyway, I've got a few days off um, in between, and I've got no radios or record players or test equipment to, to play with. So I thought, time to build an amplifier. So let's thought let's build some Fender Champ, the 5F1 model, mid-50s. And the um, reason for that is that um, I've got the turret board for it, which I bought about four years ago. It's been sitting around gathering dust. So um, with this, um, this old chassis that I um, have had lying around for ages as well, uh, I thought this would be a perfect, um, perfect case for it, for the head anyway. Um, and look, the thing was gutted. I take this to be uh, uh, a microphone preamp. Um, as you can see, the knobs on there mic one, mic two, uh, a couple of input jacks, and a bezel light. I put in the bezel light there. Um, it did have one originally, but it was cracked, and I thought, well, I'll put a brand new one in there. And of course, it gave the uh, case a bit of a paint job. But um, I'm not going to make this a long video um, because, yeah, I'm definitely no Uncle Doug. Uh, when it comes to building guitar amplifiers, but um, the circuit seems simple enough And this is what I've done so far. So I put in all the hardware and I'm basically using just stuff I've got lying around so Guys you guys that do guitar amplifiers and probably do them really well <laughs> Don't give me a hard time, please. Again. This is just a fun project for me. So um, yep Got my uh, sockets in, 5Y3, 6V6, 12AX7, power transformer, which uh, puts it about, uh, I don't know, 480 volts, or it's about 500 volts um, without any load on it, so I mean that, that should work fine for a, a 5Y3. And um, yeah, my output transformer is from a radio. Um, I had a look at some output transformers that will suit a champ, and I've been looking at about... Ooh, 70 bucks plus postage uh, look you know it's only um what do they rate this at five watts uh it's a practice amp something i'm probably not going to use but i'm just want to put it together and uh, that should work that should work uh but you never know uh, they've probably got some cheap ones in china uh that would suit this uh the circuit I might get one one day don't know but uh, i'll take those knobs off and I'll show you what I've done underneath. So yeah, the power transformer went in first. I um, made sure the leads connected, uh, lengthened the leads. So um, I've got uh, five volts on pins two and eight of the five by three uh, HT on pins four and six there. Um, so that's that socket completely done. And here's our 6.3, which is twisted pair, goes up to the uh, Bissell light. And from there, just daisy chain it to the um, appropriate pins. And uh, the 12AX7, I've never had to play with one before because uh, we don't use them on the radios. But um, when you look at the layout diagram, um, it's three pins. It's got three pins for filaments. Pins four and five. And the, and the diagram shows we should uh, connect pins four and five together. And pin nine. So... Um, Yep, I've done that. I've connected pins four and five together with a little bit of wire. And, um, yep, so one, one of the 6.3 goes to there, to pin four, and then one goes to pin nine. And uh, that's all good. Now, my on-off switch, uh, I know in the, in the, in the uh, schematic or the layout, it, um, it shows a, a volume pot. Um, what is it? One meg. Um, I've used a uh, 10K volume pot just simply as an on-off switch and that's all it's going to be doing and the reason for that is hey I've got these two nifty little knobs here so um, I want to use those and of course down there is a uh, one meg volume pot ready to be wired up um, the power was really really simple um, 
active goes through the fuse into the power switch and then from the power switch into the transformer neutral connected directly to the transformer um, the HT center tap is earthed and the only thing that was missing um, from my transformer is a uh, 6.3 volt center tap so I looked that up on the net and you can do an artificial center tap and you're looking at them right there so two 100 ohm resistors on a, on a terminal strip um, middle of them there they terminate to, terminates to earth 6.3 feed into there that resistor 6.3 feed into that resistor and apparently that does the job and would keep the hum down or eliminate it hopefully hopefully I guess so next thing I've got to do that's that's all the hard all the hardware set up and um, yeah next is I've got to populate this board so I'm going to do that I'm just going to sit in front of the computer and uh, <laughs> put these all to put all the components in there and I'll uh, mount that couple of standoffs that'll hold that well away and uh, then connect up to the um, the jacks the input jacks and uh, the output jack oh that not the output jack but um, whatever wherever yeah that the output jack and the output transformer as well so um, I'll do that get that populated and then we'll come back Right, here's the uh, turret board, all populated, and um, yeah, I've checked it <laughs> closely as I was doing it, and um, looks just like the uh, diagram, sort of, and uh, a little bit of wiring done on the back there, um, that's uh, for earth, which I will um, connect appropriately, and those two need to be connected, and uh, a couple of uh, wires connecting up, and I've what I've done is I've um, colour coded them and uh, I know exactly that yellow, what happens to them, yellow goes to pin 1 of the 12AX7, what's that, dark green goes to pin 2 of the 12AX7, white goes to pin 8 of the 12AX7 and light green just goes to uh, pin 5 of the 6V6 and there'll be a lot of other connections on, on there uh, which I will do while the thing's in there. So. I'll get this mounted in there for good and um, start uh, wiring. I'll come back and show you what I've done. Well, here it is, guys. All that wiring has been done. Uh, the, mother, the motherboard, the uh, uh, turret board's in, and all the connections have been made. And I've uh, checked and double checked and triple checked. Doesn't mean I haven't made a mistake. So I um, pull out some valves, and uh, yep, hopefully they all work. So, there it is there, and I'm sure for you guys that um, have had experience with amplifiers building them, you would say, mm, a bit messy, and you know what, you're not wrong, it is a bit messy. Um, but given that I'm a complete and total noob when it comes to guitar amps, um, I think for first effort, uh, it's okay. So... Let us um, do some tests and um, power test and make sure that, sorry, um, yeah, we don't have any uh, any short circuits. I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's just buzz out the, um, the electrodes there. Um, so black lead to, uh, to an earth point, which is down here somewhere, yep. And hopefully we get no continuity on the positive of the electrodes. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. All good. Um, on the cathode, we would there. And the other cathode, yep, we do there. Positive there, nothing there. So, anyway, we're not going to have any um, any B-plus shorts. Uh, Bob, look at that anyway. All right. Let me just um, plug the um, speaker in. And I've got myself uh, um, an old uh, cab there with uh, two 8 ohm speakers, and they're um, wired in parallel, so we get four ohms out of it. And just plug in the uh, speaker so we don't blow the uh, output transformer. It'd be interesting to see what the output transformer does, given it's uh, from a radio. 
So, didn't you see that? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I've got I've got my old, uh, really old fluke there, the uh, that mastic. Uh, that's playing up badly. So, um, just give me the shits. So anyway, we'll monitor the first uh, electro. Uh, positive to it, positive, and back to negative. All right. Make sure it's on. It's on. Volume's off. And what I will do, just move that a little bit and get around to the variac. So I'm constrained for room here. And turn the power down. And let's give it a bit of power. And fingers crossed. Now, dull globe's lighting up. No short circuits on the current limiter so far. Let's go to DC voltage. Oh, great. We've got B+. Plus. Pretty quick too. One seventy volts on my end, two sixty. I'll bring it up to two hundred. And that's good. Voltage is dropping. As the valves are warm up and suck up all that uh, voltage. Great, great. Right, turn it off for now. That's really good. Uh, so far, I've done my job well. Um, what we'll do, we'll inject a, um, an audio signal now and um, get rid of that. Grab a jack. Or a quarter inch plug, I mean. And uh, negative there. Positive. And I should have turned my bloody audio generator up first, but never mind. Alright. Let's power this up again. Sixty. Bring it up again. I'll just bring it up to two hundred. And do I have noise? Oh, shit, we got noise. Wow. I think I've got a dirty volume pot there, but it works. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! The thing should work straight off. Um, I'm assuming that um, that sort of scratchy, um, oh, airy sound um, is the volume pot. Could be something else. I don't know. Um, you know, I've got no insights on building guitar amplifiers at all. So I'm, I'm really running blind. You know, if any of you guys, uh, whatever problems I do come up with, if we, you know, they. If, if you guys have got some ideas, I'd really appreciate it. Um, all right, I'm going to go, and uh, I should have gotten it earlier, but I'll get my guitar, and we'll, uh, I mean, that's the ultimate test, and we'll see what it actually sounds like. Okay, I've got the guitar plugged in, and yes, I should have turned the power on earlier. So, warm up. Whoa. Clean tone. Uh, I, that's all really I expected from it. Bit of blues. Yeah, not bad. Okay, crank it. I'll do with that pot. What now? Uh, whoa. Don't 
dodgy lead somewhere, or something's happening. No, it's the pot. I'm impressed. Um, it sounds quite good, actually. Um, if you like that sort of thing, clean tone. Um, personally, I don't. But uh, turn it down. Yeah, dead quiet. A little bit of background noise there. I'm not sure. I wouldn't have a clue what's causing that. Um, something I've done. Probably. I'm, I'm assuming these things are, should be dead quiet. Um, but anyway, anyway. Yeah, I'm still blown away. It works. Oh, I don't know what to say. Um, you know, guys, if I can build one, anyone can. And um, I mean, a little bit of expert, uh, exper past experience regarding um, uh, power supplies and um, rectifier valves. Um, that sort of thing. That, that certainly helps. Um, I mean, if I'd never done anything electronically and try and, <laughs> and try and attempt to build this um, off the, you know, with no knowledge at all, I think I'd be struggling. No, I would be struggling. Absolutely. Nice. Nice. I'm just happy it works. Oh, pardon, pardon me. Um, tell you what, I'll just get this thing um, wrapped up and uh, put the case back together. There it is, all back in its case. And as you can see, I've uh, rebadged the uh, Fender Champ to an Astor. <laughs> and why not? Might as well use that uh, little badge, because otherwise I'll lose it. I will lose it. And I can't remember where I picked that up from. Um, probably some some chassis that I was scrapping, whatever. But anyway, uh, <laughs> a successful build in a very short amount of time. I've uh, spent two days on this. And um, and it's working okay. It's working okay. I've, no, I've got some problems. I, I will deal with the uh, volume pot, but not at the moment. Um, and uh, it may not even be that. It could be something else. But if it turns to be something interesting, um, and I can solve the problem, um, yeah, I'll do another video on it. But anyway, guys, that's it for 2024. And um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, really appreciate your comments. Uh, I don't get a lot of comments, which is fine, you know, but uh, at least, you know, I'm able to respond to all of them, and um, and I enjoy doing that too. So, uh, from uh, my mascots, Mr. Squiggle, hopefully, come on, Squiggle, wish everyone a happy new year. Oh, hooray, hooray, it's Squiggle time. Yeah, happy new year, Squiggle, not Squiggle time. Okay, sit there. And uh, then we've got good old Rocky. Uh, Rocky, wish everyone a happy new year. Come on. Adrian! Adrian! Yeah, right, okay. They're no help at all. Never mind. Guys, thank you all. I wish you all a happy and a prosperous new year. And um, I will see you all again in 2025. So have fun on um, 31st of um, December, which for me is tomorrow. And uh, catch you all again soon. Take care. Bye. Forgot and days of all anxiety.